Hi, it's July 26. I'm Barbara, and this is Bladder Cancer Diaries number 10. It's July 26, 2013, and actually today is the one year anniversary that I was diagnosed with a large mass in my bladder, which on August 10th last year we learned was superficial papillary urothelial carcinoma or bladder cancer. So today was um, also my fourth of sixth BCG treatments. So it's been quite a day. Uh, I'm actually not at the place yet where I can kind of get in touch with sort of the emotions of the day. I'm uh, continuing to do the flush of the bacillus virus from my bladder. I had the installation today at 3.36 and I held it till 5.36 and I'm going to be doing the six hour flush until 11.36 p.m. with the bleach, the water and the bleach. And um, I, it feels very sort of routine, uh, not that difficult. I have been pretty lucky in that um, very minor, minor, minor urinary symptoms, uh, pressure to go, very uh, minor burning. You know, the frequent voiding is because I'm drinking lots and lots of water, so I am expected to uh, void a whole lot. Um, and of course, as we know, the side effects can show themselves between 24 and 36 hours. So, you know, I've got some plans on hold. Uh, my aunt and my mom and my uncle are thinking about coming up tomorrow on Saturday, but really need to just kind of assess where I'm at. Uh, we'll see. And I think that's really been one of the most challenging things uh, to deal with um, aside from the um, sort of the physical physicality of what I'm doing. You know my social life uh, certainly taken a big hit and by extension um, my partner Kay's social life has sort of taken a hit. Um, you know, it's summer, these are lovely times to be at the shore or to be uh, barbecuing uh, or out in the park listening to music. There are plenty of concerts going on both in the city and in Jersey City here. And, um, you know, certainly, uh, you know, we have options about going to uh, our friend's cabin in Peekskill and a lot of uh, visits to friends and that sort of thing. And all that's really been. Uh, put on hold. I mean, there's birthday parties for our two-year-old uh, extended family, Idris, um, who's the son of Tim and Amilka. Um, there's a 50th birthday party for our dear friend, uh, Lottie Domingue. Uh, she's, yeah, there's just all kinds of stuff happening, and we're having to be quite tentative, and that's certainly not easy for Kay, and it's not that easy for me either. Um, so there it is. There are sacrifices on the road to health and wellness and, and certainly that's one of them. Uh, that's a big one. And uh, other than that, so far so good. And I really appreciate you continuing to view my videos on this 10th installment. And uh, I'll stay in touch. If there's anything remarkable to report, I'll uh, put another one up. And, uh, you know, somebody actually inquired about why someone would want to put something so personal like this up on YouTube. And, you know, I'm not a narcissistic person or anything like that. And anyone who knows me knows that while I do some pretty extroverted things, I'm actually a pretty introverted kind of person. And I'm I certainly, uh, while I take leadership on some things, I'm quite happy being sort of one in the number and uh, being part of a team and doing my share and that kind of thing. But, uh, 
you know, I just felt like I wanted my face, my image, my story out there for the next person. And every second I speak, there is a next person who has some form of cancer. Uh, this is just the pandemic that's happening in our nation and around the world and even in uh, very modern times with, you know, s certainly not a sufficient amount of uh, investment into research and stuff and we could do a lot more and but uh, just wanted to have it there and uh, so there's a face that my story is there a little bit and and if it can be helpful to someone that's great and you know and anyway thanks a lot for listening and um, uh, thanks for your prayers and support and and uh, it really matters a lot Peace, peace, peace. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.